Oh, we got Jay Wallet sneaker on this thing, bro. Just Pearly Things YouTube channel, and welcome to the today's topic. I'm just gonna get right into it. Do feminists crave destruction? Yes. <laughs> Explained right here. Just uh, we started up the show with destruction. She's... Ask me the question, and then you'll see. Okay. Um, there you go. So she said, "You said yes. Why? Yes, because the whole point of feminism is to eradicate the importance of men." And I don't see anything as destructive as eradicating the importance of men in society. That's a simple way to put it. What do you think? I agree with what she's saying. A hundred percent. Did you actually agree or are you just trying to get to the next person? No, I agree with what she's saying. I think that... A w Sneaker, bro. Of, I think <laughs> the term Sneaker, feminism bro. has been almost changed. Nah, because she getting her to explain her point instead of just saying what you agree. If you agree or disagree, you need to have a reason why you agree or disagree. Changed in modern day time. Um, sneaker, men bro. Into, so almost like women need to overpower men and women need to take over the world, kind of. Facts, bro. I'm telling y'all, today's feminism isn't nothing but women women wanting to be superior to men, bro. It's not the equal rights of women. It's women superiority, bro. Yeah. Energy. I hear that. No, I don't She's agree. scaring me back here. Okay, what do you think? Um, feminism is made to. She got lip injections. Power women and show men the importance of women in society. What's the importance of women in society? What? What's the importance of women in society? You challenge on your views. She ain't never had nobody. <laughs> she ain't never had nobody challenge on her views before, bro. Yeah, I agree with you, sweetheart. I agree. Society. We are society. Bro, they 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 don't. <laughs> Wall and um, hey bro, Wall and Sneeko done the um, the um, uh, which we call the thing that uh, that tape me done, bro. What? What's the importance of women in society? My man's first for Cassidy. That's not the, that. Well, what's your importance? What's your role in society? <clears throat> if it's so important, if you're, that's the point of empowering you. What's your role? What's your role in society? A hey, good question. Well, I don't know. Funny, um, I don't know. Without where would the world be without women? Like, where would you, you've come from a woman, you've learned most of what you've, growing up, who brought you up, was it your mother or your father? Who's, who, so who's got core duties? Why do men go so hard? Why do men go so hard with the belt of war or in a grip of tea of crumpets? So, bro, they accent so hard, they got the best accent to me, bro. No, not just motherhood. Come I back to me, I have to think about it, but... Women. Don't say something that you can't back up, sweetheart. Lesson learned. You, you seem pretty set in stone on that. I think we just saw feminism in real time. You said that it's in our role is really important, and then you just said motherhood, which is that existed before the feminist movement. Motherhood has always been important. Yeah, it's always been respected. You're right. You're right, and it's pinnacle. How do you think the world's going to continue to go on without motherhood? We agree. So would what, you be here if you didn't that's have motherhood? That's, that's not what he asked. Exactly. So what is the she, she don't even know what she's arguing right now. The feminist movement done to prove that. Well, the feminist movement, if you're talking about what, um, what's it? Jay? What's going on now? The empowerment, all this girl boss thing that's going on right now. No, that's modern feminism. That's what it's evolved to. But feminism in itself is made to make the world see the value of women. They used to women. plan assassinations in the early 1900s. What, so feminists? You know. mm -hmm. Well, um... Yeah, I'm There's terrorist groups that are men and women. You know, it's equality, isn't it? Women can be terrorists too. True. That's why I think feminism, in my opinion, is the problem when people want to label things. You don't want all of the same thing. I like how she disagree with a lot of things that Pearl say, but her and Pearl get along good, bro. It's a good friendship, in my opinion. Because we are all very different women. We have different experiences, different careers, different wants. So if you start saying feminism, you start labeling everybody, it's a problem. Because a black woman's freaking experience is not the same as a white woman. So we our feminism doesn't look the same. So what? when everybody saying, oh, oh, women, empower yourselves. We can't empower ourselves the same way. Some women work, some don't. So we have a mother, some women are not mothers. I hate when they put a race on everything, bro. We're talking about gender. And they come out of the blue and put a race on everything. Why did, like, a black woman not the same as a white woman? Again? Like, shut up, bro. Nobody asks about race. We're talking about feminism. We're talking about women in general. The feminist movement. She got to put her. It's always black women want to put a race on everything. See, black women, they have their black women. Like, bro, stop it, bro.
He's like, don't put me under the same umbrella. What is a black woman? What does that have to do with feminism? Exactly, it has to bro. Do with feminism because, for example, for me, just knowing the difference between my empowerment and the empowerment of my white girlfriends, it's very different. I have bigger mm. struggles to overcome. So when somebody. No, the fuck you don't. No, you. Who told her this? Who told her this? What struggles do black women face, face that white women don't face, bro? Give me, give. Bro, come on now. Feminism, empower yourself. We're all the same. No, we're not. We're quite different. The same way that I don't believe that racism is actually. Of course, you're different. You grow up different, you know, different parents and different beliefs and all that shit. But that don't mean that you, like, like, fully, di like, bro, what the f fuck? Is she arguing? That many people should be speaking on. Because even that, black experience is totally different depending on where you're from, what class you come from. So women are not all the same. Black people got the same opportunity as any other race, bro. Well, let me say, black people got the same rights. And opportunity as a white person, bro. Just because we are women. This is like everything you're saying is why people think that feminists are just chatting. Because like, what does they are just chatting? So they I are just really chatting. And I brought but you just feminism as a as a comparison point because I'm just trying to explain that when you put people in the same bag every single time, it causes problems. So you don't actually get to understand what the genuine problem is, and you start saying, "Oh, we mm. want this," but then you don't know what it's you victim want. mindset. Yeah, it's it's having a victim mindset. I'm black. I'm a woman. Yeah, I'm... black people always got the victim mindset. Oh my god, black people are so oppressed. Nah, hell nah, bro. Black people always the victim in every scenario, bro. If a um, if a black person get arrested, bro, it's the bro. Everybody on social media. Oh yeah, police brutality, all this extra bullshit, bro. You don't know what happened before that. The nigga probably had a gun on him, bro. Or he probably did some illegal shit, bro. You know, it. I'm telling you, black people just always the victim, bro. Need Every time I need no, this to move forward. No, it's not a victimization. It's a fact because I know I live that experience. You may not, and on top of that, I'm also an immigrant, so I already know that my experience is different. So when I'm talking about empowerment, and you're an immigrant I don't too, look at it. She trying to. Oh my god, bro. She. She. May, oh. That's, there's a lot of ways you're victimizing yourself. I'm not victimized. I'm empowering myself because I'm a G. I made it through the problem. I don't really care. Don't say that no more. Do me a favor and don't ever say that no more. Did a woman just call herself a G? about whether or not it was a situation that but that's wokeness so you empower yourself by victimizing no, yourself no i empower myself by understanding that perhaps i may have a bigger hill to, sh to climb so i'll train harder it's what you're leading with so, though it's certainly what you're leading with, with what? your race your of gender course. and your and your immigration of course you're leading I'm with that is that your identity you can understand that when i'm a feminist too no, what about what you've done in the world instead of all of these other things, things in the world. okay then why not lead with those i'm an educator as well okay and cool. i understand the difference Love between that. me going into that uh, that job versus right. other people i work with different types of racism what i'm trying to say is i'm not trying to make this about racism i'm simply making a comparison to explain but you that. did no, no no when you lead with racism you literally making it about race and when you say the black woman experience is different from a white woman experience, and you, bro, adding race on everything, you literally are literally making it about race. No, you I, certainly did. And let me tell you why. Because I'm making a comparison. But she just said she didn't. She just admitted to... So it's an analogy <laughs> to explain another problem. When you put everybody in the same basket, it doesn't work. That's why feminism doesn't work. It's not a good thing. Because I don't relate to feminists. Because the problems are not, are not just them. caused by gender. The problems are caused by these other factors that you're talking about. Yes, right. but it's caused by so many different things. There's different elements to it. So don't box me in. So that's why I don't think feminism is good. You neglect the people that actually do need empowering. And I don't think it's fair to say that she should shouldn't lead with her race and all of these things because when you look at us the first thing you do see is my race if i am a tv presenter you're not going to look at me first as a tv presenter when it's you're the first thing say, you say hey when i see you i see a woman i don't see a black girl maybe that's just you but the majority you're gonna already have this stigma of me because I'm but a here's black the woman. problem with you doing that i say this with love but if you have that top of mind all the time you're gonna suppress yourself but that's literally mm, okay walla okay walla that's life like that's we gonna, can't you're gonna it. suppress yourself we can't change it and that is like that's like me assuming that they're not gonna listen to him because it's not a black man telling her that y'all are gonna hate me because i'm a straight white male why would i think that about you guys when we could just get along so i don't understand like why are you being so challenging when i said because, because i hate to hear it coming out of your mouth I'm because a woman, it, it's a poisonous and I'm thing for you to think next to feminists and i'm saying whatever your empowerment movement is is not the same as mine so don't actually label me to be in that situation and say oh women want this oh i'm not labeling not. you i'm no, simply I'm telling you, you what saying... exactly what you said no 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 no, no. exactly I I what you said you. what do you think about feminine i said i'm black general. i'm an immigrant no, all this bullshit why are you that's, a, that's literally what you just said that's exactly okay let me rephrase it so you can understand it okay so essentially if i stand next to a feminist yeah for example a white woman that I don't relate feminist. to you because I'm black. Uh, okay, wait, Why she had to put a race on it, though? A white woman that's a feminist? What's the fuck?
Wait, wait, let me finish. Can I finish? You're about to say, I, I no, can't I, box no, myself no, no, in with no, you. No, because I'm that's not what I'm saying. Say it then. What I'm saying is, I am not the same woman as you. What I want and what I see to be empowerment is not the same, whether it's culturally, whether it's racially, whether it's professionally, academically, personally, whatever. We are all very different. Women cannot be boxed into the same box because we're not the same. Because you're different. In women races it, because yes. of different experiences as women so Even you're making an anti-feminist you're you're making anti-feminist yeah. argument but but, but but you want to have other you want to have other things to, I, I've, to complain got, about. I've got i've got uh, a lot of victim balance yeah. i yeah. i know the things that are not right and i know the things that are right it's not just black and white there's gray areas in the middle that's why i mentioned for example th things like race is a gray area in the middle that makes it say oh yeah feminism may not actually be as accurate as people are saying that is why people come across feminists and they don't know what they want because one wants this the other one wants this and the other one wants this because they are different and that is why feminism in my opinion is destructive and i don't think she's bro she oh my god bro the question was was is feminism destructive oh do feminism crave destruction Oh, do feminists crave destruction, bro? I don't know how the fuck she just bought race and everything and made it a race topic and everything, bro. And that's what they were telling her, that, uh, that she leading with race and she making it about race and that's not the topic. That's pulling away from the topic, bro. Do feminists crave destruction? That don't have nothing to do with a black feminist versus a white feminist versus a black anti-feminist. Bro, it don't got nothing to do with race, bro. Speaking in general, it's a podcast, it's not about yourself. Me personally, me personally, it's, it's not about you, bro. He's playing victim. I think she's just acknowledging a serious issue in society. What Very issue? So. Racism? Yes. yes. Are we going to... Racism is not an issue, especially in 2023. <laughs> Knowing if you're a man or a woman is an issue, fuck you. Nobody I can like racism doesn't exist. Yeah, it doesn't. Issues, no, like... racism, racism not... doesn't exist. Bro, I've been saying this shit forever. This shit don't exist, bro. Not a problem. That's how they keep people broken at the bottom and arguing about nothing and thinking that they're victims and all that the time. That sounds like a problem. It's, yeah. it's not. It's not a problem. It's, it, when you believe it, your existence. And it's a problem, then, isn't it? Okay. My point is, your existence is a sum of your beliefs and your thoughts. And if you're always thinking that I'm a victim because I'm black, I'm not a feminist because of this, I'm an immigrant, then you know what's going to happen. You're going to stay poor. You're going to stay unhappy, and you're going to see racism everywhere. Mm. At a certain level of wealth and at a certain level of status, people never discuss things like race. People never discuss, like, I'm an immigrant, so it was hard. You just want to get to the next point. Yeah, yep. that's why racism uh, is a problem. Okay. Winner, winners only see green. Because the truth of the matter is, like, I, I own a business, right? I have a bunch of employees. Mm -hmm. If somebody turns up and does their job and they're profitable for my company, I cannot afford to give a fuck about their race, religion, hair. I bet you they're going to be like, that's you, but other business owners are not the same as you. Gender, any of that stuff. Because it's too hard to find people that work really hard. Mm -hmm. So a great example of that is LeBron James has been in the NBA for years because he puts out motherfuckers fucking results okay but and, and he's not worried and he's not worried and living oh i'm black i can't play in the league but you could say that for any i know plenty of successful young black men and one thing i have a super big heart for is i play college football mm -hmm. and i cannot stand to see people put those young men in a box and tell them from the jump that, that they, they only are not play sports, have a good bro. shot at life just because they're black can i ask you a that question? is that is putting them in a, oh, so a different point box from the beginning Do and you, lying to mm, them sorry do you think that lebron james had the same journey as his white teammates that's what the, white teammates? Wh you want to talk about exclusion? No, How many white no, people are no, in the I'm NBA? Not, I can't think of one. No, no, yeah. wait, wait. I'm, name I'm, I'm, name I'm, a white NBA listen, player. I don't know. <laughs> I feel left out. Exactly, bro. She doesn't even know what she arguing. Oh, fuck okay. this. I'm leaving. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm just saying. If okay, actually, that's in America. In the, in the, in the, hey, this is how I fuck with Walla, bro. This nigga, bro. In the UK, it's different. My For problem example, is, UK, is telling it, young black men no, that no, they no. don't have a shot okay. because they're black is literally handicapping them from the jump, and I won't stand. It's victimizing them, bro. And making them feel oppressed, and they're not oppressed, bro. Let me tell you, that's in America. And yeah. in the UK, it's very different, my friend. In the UK, for example, the football leagues, they are full of white boys. And the white players are actually quite physically endowed and they're quite talented. They get stay, they stay behind a little bit more. They're not selected first. In the UK, it's very different. That's why I say you shouldn't box people in and talk about generally because culturally, yeah. they're different. I call different bullshit, though. I'll tell you not, why. I'll tell you why. It's true. An owner of a, of a company, whether it's a sports team or a normal business, cannot afford to choose somebody or not choose somebody based off their based race. Based on their race, yeah. But that's not true. You don't no, know no, no, let me... That's 100% true. I'll tell you why. Because the way that you make money in the sport football. is you win fucking championships. Reggie, you don't and watch you football. Make... Some of the best players in the UK, yeah, they don't get... Is she, is she gonna tell a D1 athlete that he don't watch football? He don't know nothing about football? 
Oh, I guess. At the ratings. For example, in the World Cup, three black players scored. But when they woke, when the England was eliminated from the World Cup, those three players were the ones that were blamed. And all the white players were the ones that were celebrated. Because that actually does happen in this country. So, so that's then, why it is, know, race is actually important. I don't know anything about so soccer. Both of you exactly. but, but I'll say this. Sorry, so I'll both of you trying oh, to... Oh, football meaning soccer. Oh, I forgot football means soccer. Okay, I'm thinking she's talking about American football. Okay, the racism talking. doesn't exist. Reason don't exist. You it holds you, you believing that you're a victim holds you back more than any of the actual racism that don't exists in society. I don't think we, I don't, I'm not a victim because I'm not. This, right. this is some, it's really just poor people coping yeah. that like racism, this is why I'm not successful. This is why I'm unhappy. It's because of system. Bro, this is the fuck I've always, bro. This is shit I be saying. Hold on, let me pull it up, bro. Why the fuck the clips that, bro? Let me pull it up. This is shit I beat, bro. I've been saying this shit, bro. I've been saying this shit, bro. I've been saying this shit. What the fuck? Adult actress. I don't know where the fuck it is, bro. Oh, no, I should pull up the shorts. Oh, but I might get copyright. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Where is it? 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 I'm going to tell y'all the shit that nobody else want to tell y'all for all the black people watching. It's just easier to blame somebody else for taking accountability and trying to elevate in life. It's easy to blame the white man. It's easy to blame other people for your lazy ass not doing nothing with your life, bro. It's that simple. And That's facts, bro. Black people do the same. Oh, most black people do the same thing. Oh, yeah, it's the white man's fault. It's everybody fault but mine. That's why I'm poor and still in the hood because oh, it's it's the white man's fault. They want me here. Traumatic oppression. Pussy. Brokey. That mindset will hold you back more than any Absolutely. white system. I do systems. agree with that mindset. That mindset will hold you it's back. It's going to hold you back. But Way more than any racism. What I will say is racism does exist. Absolutely. But, it yeah, exists it does everywhere. Exist. It exists everywhere. But obviously, I wouldn't call myself a victim. Hmm. I've experienced racism, but I don't say I'm a victim. I wouldn't, I wouldn't let that stop me from prospering. Do you have a harder time career. succeeding than a white girl? I don't know. I feel like it's all about mindset, to be honest. Okay. Okay. If you if you sit there, and yeah, she agree with them. She just don't want to be. Uh, she just don't want to agree with them because of. You think, oh, I can't do this because of this, or I can't do that. Then obviously that's a negative mindset to have. You're not gonna grow, and you're not gonna be about the best version of yourself. But if you think, okay, I might them? be different, but that's not gonna stop me from elevating and being the best version of myself. Mm. I get what you guys are trying to say in terms of my mindset. I definitely believe that what you think is what will manifest. But what I'm trying to understand is. Don't listen to her. Manifest it, queen. Manifest it and, you, and it shall just appear in your face. Your face. If you manifest a six figure nigga, he just going to pop up magically. If you manifest a million dollars, it's just going to show up in your bank account. Manifest it. Are you guys trying to say that? racism does not exist at all and it's just this fantasy i say racism don't exist at all because i don't like to think like that not as much as we're talking about it right now and not as much as the media would want women, you to believe and as much as feminists <laughs> believe that feminists yeah. like are held back and that we need to be empowered i ask like what how do we empower women oh motherhood okay mothers have always been respected mm. so it, it's a lot of this uh, people like to have and this is what wokeness does we like to have reasons to justify our existence and where our place in the world mm. like well, we're held back because of white oppression i'm a feminist i'm an immigrant and this is why i'm where i'm at it makes us feel better about our position in life and but if you somebody. let go of those attachments and just yeah. understand that the world is what you make it you will succeed and you will be better the, these ways so like racism it's, it's all garbage it's all right. meant to keep us like down and at the bottom mm. the black lives or, matter movement for example was all garbage all the psyop all of it was a scam same with the feminist movement any of these ideologies that people grasp on to feel better same thing with all these people talking about ukraine and russia like you're not going to change it just go get some money and start a family right. and just stop attaching yourself to stuff that you have no control over and, and that and that's the point and he's dead on because like if, facts for example mm. people get all up this nigga walla always fresh bro this nigga always got the suit on with the shit. this nigga besides at the yacht party this nigga bro he was flexing to me, bro. He told me he had on Walmart jeans, a Walmart hoodie. His whole outfit was from Walmart, bro. And it was flexing who wins on the me, bro. Oh, Trump's president. I can't. Dude, I don't give a fuck who wins president. You could be president tomorrow. I'm still going to win. Amen. Bet your fucking ass. I don't care what the condition is. I don't care who's in the office. You, dude, any of you could be president tomorrow, and I'm still going to get up and go to work the next Can day. Can I tell you something very interesting? 
Do you know why racism actually exists? Because nobody said it didn't no, exist. Wait, wait, wait. It's and not why, a way to lead your identity. It's actually very annoying because what people don't understand is that sometimes you're walking amongst black people, or even sometimes a black person will go into a shop and the security guard will look at them and follow them. They don't even know they're looking at a prince because That's they look at a black person. No, this the, the only problem. It's pattern is, recognition. No, no, no. We, listen, listen. Yeah, the problem is that with this whole idea of racism, what people talk about. For me, I find racism to be an insult because people look. The, skin, the color of my skin and they assume I'm lower than what I am actually I wouldn't even think she was black I thought she was like I thought she was like Spanish or something I didn't I didn't know she was black at all because her um like her hair she looked brighter but why? No, they don't. No, they actually yes, they do. do. They actually do. Yeah. But, 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 but coming from the two girls that brought up race, though, no, that's of the thing. I up race you bring up I'm race immediately. The, the show been going on five Bridget, minutes, and, of course, because and I'm you both bring up black. I never, never in my mind was I like. Can I ask you a question? My main point was question. You said like they. Who is they? Just overall, the general population in this country, at least. So would you say like everyone? Would you say like everyone in this room? I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true in London. No, I'll, I'll explain to you, you why. In I'll explain to you why. They hear my accent a lot of the time. They see my, my skin tone. I just want to know who they. Wait, wait. Who is people, they? just people in general. No, I get so, this more so often. I'm, I'm a... Your accent? You got the same accent as any other... I, I seen a white girl from the UK. Y'all all got the same accent. What she mean? What are you talking about? You in London. So I'm asking you, like, they. Is that this, okay, this room? Uh, is that, like, everyone she, here just met listen, you today? Listen, they, I mean, this they is, is this just is a, the, this the, is a, the people that don't matter to me. Denial, I don't need to know this their is, names. This is a, and I'm just saying, this is a good sample size of people. These are all random people. Like, okay. you know, and I, I know we know each other, but of course, outside of that. Of course. Could you, could you I be, relate to a lot of these could, girls, Could you example. be projecting... <laughs> Insecurities onto other people that make assumptions about what no. people think about you. Because it, when I met you, mm -hmm. I didn't think I didn't think oh she's lower or she's anything else. You know, mm -hmm. whatever. I mean, I just thought yeah, cool girl, I thought, nice, nice cat. I, I thought good TV. Thank you. Know? Yeah. No, <laughs> you didn't think good TV. I'll, I'll explain to you why. And this is the same thing with then that goes perhaps that links more into feminism is that. I just don't like the fact that people assume less of my capabilities based on something. I don't know who they do. No, <laughs> and this is the thing. This I'll tell you who, time. her. She's no. the one that put it out no, no, in the universe, no, no. not let us. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. It's not who, This who is her. victim mindset, I, literally no, what she said. It's not. Listen, That's listen. Crazy what, to say. My biggest call. Look at her. She don't know what she's talking about. Comments, yeah. Guys, you guys are troublesome. The, my biggest comments is like, look at this stupid girl. What does she know? I told Mr. King Riches that I could fix a Bentley, and he laughed. Well, how could you? Be why? Because <laughs> I'm a girl? That's the thing. So feminism, what I think feminism so is... So it's King Riches. Then why not say... I, why not say... She jumping from point to point. Wasn't they just talking about race... Or like racial oppression or some shit. Now she's back to feminism. I'm confused. Explain but why not respond examples. to King Rich and say because I have the skill set? Yes, and that's the whole point. Doesn't that, that's why feminism as well. What the girls are trying to say. What is the point? Listen, listen. Didn't, well, I, didn't she just say she don't agree with a feminism? I'm confused. Bro. I believe girls are trying to say is that listen, don't look at the fact that I'm a girl. I've got the skill set, so respect me for my skill set. That's then it. lead with it. That's it. And lead, lead with that. I have the skills. Of course. And the only reason why I mention my race is to separate have, myself from the feminists. Know, feminist. Most women don't have the skill set to fix a car. Can we just call a spade a but spade? Thanks. It's not. It's not. It's not feminism holding a, us back. It's us one. choosing not to. Get Ninety plus percent of men are uh, mechanics, by the way. Get that skill, so people assume that. But I don't know how you link that to me saying that feminism is holding this. No, you because you were you were saying that like people assume that you couldn't point fix point. a BM or so people assume that you couldn't fix a BMW. Yeah, and somehow that's tied to fem. Who cares? So no, it doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> feminism doesn't matter. Do oh, oh, that's like if a dude can't cook, bro. Like I wouldn't be so, like if a nigga don't know how to make like like some good ass food or something like that, bro. I wouldn't really be shocked, like bro, like. You know you a nigga, but if like a girl can't uh, uh, like can't fix a car either, I wouldn't be surprised either. Like you're a female, you know. Just want credit for what they can do. That's I, will, I, will, I, will, I will give you two hundred pounds if you can fix a BMW. We can do give a video. It. Let's do it. Oh I my god. Swear to god! Stay tuned. Watch it. I'll to teach god. you. Yeah, I'll, I'll match it. I'll match it because I love that. And if oh. you can, no, I'll match it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually yeah. doing a series, guys. That's Make awesome. sure that you subscribe to my channel. I'll double the love. Hell no, we ain't scrapping that shit. Fix the electric system. Why? Because I know how to use Google very well, and I practiced and I did it. Love it. Love it. I okay. think anyone who hasn't experienced racism shouldn't say anything about it. Full stop. Period. Well, okay, cool. So I grew up you quite a while. You definitely five years. Five years. And that's racism right there. That's racism right there, bro. Telling a white man that he haven't experienced racism. That's racism right there. <laughs>
how you gonna tell that man what he experienced? Oh, because he white, but that's racism right there. They black people complain about racism, but they racist to other people. They already must be knowing it, bro. That's racist, bro. Black neighborhood. Happen. I got in a fight every other day for it. Okay, but that's because I had red hair. They call yeah. me rooster. I literally got in fights every day. So you got they call him rooster. Bullied. Ooh, that's not racism. Exactly. Oh, it's no, not. <laughs> oh, oh, but what is oh, what is hair is not racism. It's just bullying. Discrimination based on what it is racist. It's, like, so it's, it's exactly what racism is. Uh, it's not racism. They no, didn't because stop. he wasn't oppressed. We were the ones that oppressed. So you can't call that racism. How are you oppressed? What the fuck? No, but I'm In 2023, how are you oppressed? <laughs> They're not going to be able to ask that question. Watch, watch. Because I got news for you, honey. I'm if you had a skill set that was worth something to somebody, you would be the richest fucker in here. So slavery. Talk your shit, Walla. Talk your shit, Walla. It exists. Did slavery exist? Slavery exists, okay. yeah. It also is. It... Why the fuck is she bringing up slavery, bro? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? He said in 2023, how are you oppressed? Nobody asked the question. The whole group just got silent, bro. And and this girl brought up slavery, bro. Slavery was back then, bro. We talk about 2023. How were black people oppressed? Go. Can't answer it. It also what? existed for the Irish. I'm not trying to belittle what happened to black Wait, people. I would you never. Are. No, I'm not. Why are people no, in the UK talking I about just, slavery? No, 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 no. <laughs> here's here's why. And there was no slaves here. Here's why. No, this is very important. Can we stop? This is very important to me. I have a lot of young black men that follow me. There's no fucking way on earth I'm gonna let them. I watch all his um Q and A's by the way, bro. Hey, if y'all got a question that y'all need to ask a millionaire, bro, go to this nigga channel, super chat. I think it's like I think he do ten dollars and up, and then he um. Uh, yeah, he read it and then he gave some some real ass advice, bro. Well, a real ass nigga, bro. I don't believe that well, they have a real ass nigga. I met him in person too. Else, nigga. They just worked their ass too. off. Sneak There's no too. fucking way. I'm not shitting on their dreams like that. I'll be damned. You just call me a racist harder. if you want. That's fine, but we have to. Work you call harder. me a racist all day. I'm not. I don't That's care. I, there's no way harder. I'm letting those young men believe that shit. 100. percent Because I know plenty of black guys. Look, King Rich is here right now. He's a fucking winner all day long because he didn't let that shit happen. 100. percent But we have to work hard. And what about Fred? What about? We, don't, we don't have to work hard. You got to work hard in general. What the fuck? Black people don't got to work harder? The fuck? That are black that are very, very King successful. Why do people listen to you when they see you? Bro, we have to looking at racism is for broke people. No. <laughs> facts. Why Bottom line. Say? That's facts. That's facts. Only poor people care about racism and all that extra broke shit, bro. The people with their rich mindset and that's trying to become rich and that's rich, bro. Not worried about none of that bull left. Bro, none of that bullshit, bro. It's, it's just, just, just period. No, it's just, an, it's just an insult. Wow, I just find man. it insulting. Don't tell it's me not, that I'm... It's don't, not don't insulting. You lead with it. Get a new don't identity. Don't assume that I'm the <laughs> 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 We are at the bottom I'm a black girl. You're so much... Much more than that. You're so much more than that. W Waller, bro. Then don't lead with it. Say thank you. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I know I am. Nigga, say thank you. He said you so much more than a black girl. Oh, I know I am. What the fuck? It's bullshit. No, I lead, it's listen, bullshit. brethren, I didn't lead with it. I use it as a comparison for me to explain why I'm not the same you, as every girl that puts themselves in him. one thing. Then why not tell us the skills you have and the person okay, you are you to that, that lead? Why don't like you lead with that? Because they well, think so many yeah, can't speak on. four languages. Hold lead with the person you are. It's given that you guys hate women. That's that's the vibes right now. What the fuck? What the fuck, Chad? What the fuck, bro? She said it's given you guys hate women. What the fuck? Bro, bro, bro. What the hell, bro? No, 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 to do one at a time stop stop just stop, stop stop wait okay. can i say something wait, it's not wait. a thing where they hate women if anything they love women for a man to tell you to think positively how is that hatred the people Ooh, we got a black queen that's a queen right there that's good shit you are literally telling us that what we think is what's going to manifest so therefore think positive thoughts and positive things will happen to you you guys on this table who are talking about feminists you're all negative because why would you focus so much on comments why would you focus so much on who's looking at your hairstyle your mm. accent or whatever and then someone comes to tell you actually focus on the positive and you guys are saying they hate you no I'm not being that's funny, not, but that's you can love. focus on it because just the I other day just the other day a man um, applied for a job and they told him he can't get the job because of his afro so you can't tell us to not focus on it no, when it is the focus that, that yeah, didn't he could yes, get it a did job. Watch the news. It literally happened the other day. Yeah, but that's his experience. Mm. But if he was smart, he's not gonna let that hold him back. Of that's the whole not. point. That's that why he, he, he went wait. on the news and he spoke about being... it. If he didn't get that job, he obviously wasn't the right fit for that job. Not because he was black, probably because he didn't have the skill set or the abilities to perform what they wanted him to perform, bro. 
how but bad. You can't, tell us not, you can't tell us to not focus on it. No, but if I walk into a certain place with my afro, the first thing people are going to do is stare at me, and certain places won't want to give me the job just because I have an afro. You want me to tell you something? Yeah, but that's your mind. You can't tell me it's my mindset if they have told me I am not giving you the Do job you know because why? of my afro. You then can't tell me that's my mindset. What? Well, dude, I try, I, my point is, my point is, that, that shouldn't happen point blank, that. period. No, that is my point. So yeah, but the world is evil. You can't say that. Guys, 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 wait, 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 stop, wait, thank you. Do you know why you saw that in the news? Because they want you to believe that racism is a real problem. It wasn't even on the news. Because you so broke, that's all you black, I mean, that's all you broke people focus on, bro. That's all broke people focus on. I'm gonna watch the news. The news showing some, some black dude got killed by a cop. Oh my God. Brokies, bro. You think Sneeko and, and Walla, bro, and, and, and King Riches and all the, all the rest of the successful niggas worried about some fucking <laughs> racism, bro? Get the fuck up out of here, bro. Please, so you're lying. She just said that it was it on the news. news. It was not it was only on the news. It went viral on Twitter. Let's fact check now. Okay. I said it was on the news, yeah, so you're went, just adding got, to it. No, no, I'm just, no, but you're saying on the, why you saw it on the news. Yeah, that's I'm, where I saw it, so you're adding to it. They share these stories like George Floyd and like that Afro nonsense that you saw in the news in order for you to believe that there's a system that's holding you back. It's not. And you so, saw here, we're talking about so the, race. Hold on. So the man went online and was like, I didn't get the job, sat there and didn't have an, at this point when he they got They pick on and the chose news, to run that story because it gives people like you a reason to feel. Not people like me. Exactly. Yes, people like you. Broke. Nothing to do with your life. You, with people like you. No, they used you, to want to give my mom you. free food in the market because they didn't believe that white woman could have three little kids with afros. <laughs> they used to give her food because they used to think that we're little African children that suffer this time. You make me cringe. We were quite wealthy. So, for example. Okay, my overall point is that <laughs> people like to have a victim mindset, especially. It's not a victimization, I'm just saying it exists. Okay. That's it. That's my point is that we hear this victimized mindset right now in order to give you a way to navigate the world that justifies a lot of your thoughts and beliefs. We're talking about race, and you're like, it's giving misogyny. It what, is. No, you, you are. What, much, what you're is gift, calling you out the victimization I feel of the, the race? Vibration. You feel the vibration feel the of vibra misogyny? Of, yeah, you, of your mentality. Your mentality <laughs> is one of, you're a type of man. That's what, what your type mind, of man? No, sister, they're just here trying to make you look stupid. That's what their job is. No, because I'm just, it's not that make hard. Girls look dumb. It's That's not it. that fucking so hard. Don't, don't take it personal. They literally just want to cut it's, you out. So you I don't, I don't, I'm, not, I'm asking you, I'm trying to get to what she really believes. King Richard trains me for this. All right, what what are the vibrations that I'm giving you that... It's given misogynist. Why? What did we say? Like you, I'm not being funny. If it, what what value do you see and what what how do you value women do you see the value of women like are how is that misogyny and walla literally said you are much more than just a black woman stop saying that you are just a black woman you are much more than that so he's uplifting y'all not putting y'all down what the hell are you i explained it feminism? five no, minutes you ago you didn't i, I said that i'm against you. feminism because i guess just because somebody disagree with them they misogynistic and I said I'm that lying. and racist. Yeah, but if you're gonna call him a misogynist, if you, she asked me a question, I'm finished. No, like I said, the value of a woman is motherhood is in raising children. No, we, that, I, I said that we respect mothers. I opened the show by saying that. Okay, go on. So what did I say that makes you think that I'm a misogynist? That's a serious allegation. I said it's given misogynist. What is giving misogynist? Your vibration. My vibration? Yeah, my you're vibes. vibrating misogyny the right vibes. now? No, so no, are you vibrate. vibrating with racism too? <laughs> no, no, what like, what goes on in women? Uh, what the fuck, bro? This nigga Sneeko funny, bro. A little bit mean, that's why. I'm moving mean? A little bit. Mean? What the fuck? <laughs> she seems like she's the only woman that understands, like, their argument, bro. No, you're, you're trying to put your mask. Girl in the back didn't say not a damn thing. She, she just on a podcast that look pretty. Shit, let me take her spot next time. You're yeah, insert, you come a bit aggressive. Insertive, and I don't yeah. like that. That's a bit it comes misogynist. A bit aggressive, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's speaking a bit like, ooh. It's the masculinity. It's I can feel it, and it's like you're trying to suppress my it's, feminine. It's, it's not. It, you, you no, he's not. Like, what? He's trying to suppress the feminine. He's, he's, trying, to the feminine. he's trying to suppress your dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, bro. Y'all, look, y'all are all smart, pretty young women. You can do anything you want to in this fucking world. And my message is this, Oprah. Listen, Oprah. <laughs> fucking, here's the thing. I'm not. And you swear a lot. I do a lot. I'm, I'm so. I do. He a grown ass man. What the fuck?
I, I know. So I do. I'm going to keep doing that. So <laughs> here's the thing. I just, there's no planet where I'm going to allow particularly a young black man to I'm think gonna keep doing that, that. What about he can't a young go white man? Young white man? Yeah, go on. Because that's no, no basically, your sister, don't worry. Because they're no, 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 it's because you're saying that white and black, we didn't Girl, see color. Right? No, because he's, we're, he's, we're talking about race on. particularly yes, right on. now. Okay. And I, like, well, we no about planet. Gender. Do I want to ever put out into the universe or allow to be put out in the universe that a young black man is going to not be able to be successful in his life because of his skin color? There's no chance. Mm. And I will sit here and, and you can call me whatever you want, but I just know too many of them. And I know too many that have been successful. Yeah, but you're yeah. one of a few. You're not but like you know the majority. But you have to understand how many people watch his show. Can I and how many people watch her channel? Can I? It's important. No, you're not. Can you're I not. challenge you I understand you guys. that, but in general, can it does. It doesn't stop you, but it does make a little challenge a bit you're, harder in the you're, world. You're, Just a little yeah, bit. But can I? Me, he's like, he's like, you're one of the first white men that I've met who have this mentality. Maybe no. it's... Most white men have that mentality. They really think that most white men are racist because they're on TikTok and social media for 24 hours a damn day, and that's all that they see because that's all that's on the FYP. Drama, drama, drama. Bro, that's what I was saying, bro. The uh, the point I made about all cops not being racist and all that extra shit, bro. No, all cops do not hate black people, bro. It's just obviously, it's the media. Y'all on social media all day. So obviously they're going to put like a like one scenario of a white cop beating a black kid or whatever. And then I guess that's just every cop now, bro. That's not even much majority of cops that's like that, bro. That's literally a small minority of cops that's like that, bro. It's only like that because it's vocalized because they're on social media all day, bro. That's all they see on social media, bro. No, not no, 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 no. You know, you know what? I honestly, true I think most white men. True to my experience. True to my Prejudice. Hey, look, she's not even talking back here. Exists. Not Maybe not racism. Men. Let's adjust the word. Not racism. Prejudice is something different. I do. Exists, I believe that. Right? And I think that there's that prejudice better. all over the world. There you go, then. In, in I was addition, just a little bit strong and a bit more negative. Uh, countries and a like, bit lowly. Sure. And in countries like Japan that are very, you know, homogenous, homogenous, they won't even let you in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Unless you're Japanese. Like, mm -hmm. you guys, you think you've seen racism. Bro, there's some places in this world I've been that are turbo racist. Mm. Outwardly and get away with it. I think a black person today has a better chance than they've ever had. Is it completely fair? No, I don't think so. But I don't think life That's is completely nice. fair at all. And there's no way I'm going to let somebody mentally handicap themselves from the jump. And you know, sure. Would you, about me, would Brad, you guys? Making eye contact. I don't. I don't think it's an impairment to me. I know it made me. It made me a bit stronger, but I know it exists, and it actually was Then, then an for obstacle. you, it's a superpower. Yeah, right. That's it. I just want to reframe it. Thank you. And, and have and a different relationship with it. You I'm, at first, but for me, being well, because a she black, led with it. Woman is a but it doesn't mean because she because she led with it. I'm leaving my superpower. What do you mean to do? Yeah, she said she's leaving. Yeah, but it didn't sound like a superpower then, did it? No, because you didn't allow me to finish. You start saying you're leading with that. Does that have to do? You became challenging, and this is the problem. This is why she said you guys are feeling a little bit like misogynistic, but that's not what she means. It's no, like, no, you're coming very just, aggressive and talking, very challenging. They're just talking, with, they're just like talking with passion beef. because it's the, important. It's important. It's, beef. it's important because you have to go out into the world with the absolute mindset that, regardless mm. of your circumstances, regardless of your background or your racial um, ethnicity Facts. or anything, that you can go out and you can make a success of your life. That's we it. all have to do that 100%, and that's why they're getting so impassioned about it. You know what, real really important exactly no he's dead on you know but what, re relaxed, no, it's really what nice, real you know? love looks like mm. in my opinion real love is dark and real love takes risks so let's say you're fucking up and mm -hmm. let's just say it was racism mm -hmm. i'm willing to step in front of you and have you be angry with me so i can somehow change where you're fucking up and you can be mad at me if you want because most people people that don't give a shit about you will let you leave and be like that bitch is fucking up I would mm -hmm. much rather get into a heated argument with you and have the courage to sit in front of you and tell you my truth and have the thought of somebody thinking that I'm not your truth. Say the truth, bro. Because when they say my truth, they say, oh, that's your truth. Yeah, I say the, the truth. Mm -hmm. I'd rather do that than let the young men that follow me believe they don't have a shot. I'd much rather sit in that. And to me, that's the only kind of friends I want is people that are going to tell me the truth when I'm fucking up. So you can get mad at me, but I just hate to see it led that way. I'd much rather hear about the skills you have. Mm. And, and and I'm with you, Pearl. I'll I'll triple the two hundred. And then are you gonna say well done to my skills? Are you gonna say go in yeah. the kitchen? <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! No. You just got you, you know how, how much joking. you know Denama, You know how much women privilege you have. You just got offered a thousand dollars to see if you could to fix, fix a car. car. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. It's a superpower. That yeah, let me fix the car. Should Wait, I take I it black because you're a black no, girl? No, <laughs> don't take it back. Come on, I'm a hustler. Actually, do you hear the the black privilege? Sure, I peeped it a little bit earlier.
black people and minorities in general have more freedom of speech than white people because you just hell yeah bro i always say i think the most people that's <laughs> i think white people be getting racism at them the most bro i think that they bro i think that they the ones that's fucking can't say nothing about anything because once a white man speak on a black problem or some shit like that bro the whole world just turned to hell but black people can say anything that they want bro. said that in my experience white people aren't like this and he's the first white guy you've ever seen act that way you're able to say and that's a that's pattern recognition if we if a white person said the same thing that would be seen as racist you can't make judgments about other minorities like that white people have the least amount of freedom of speech right now because immediately and especially like right now you call it saying that you're vibrating with misogyny because i'm speaking aggressively towards you that victim mentality gives you a lot more free speech than you're really aware of well, if i say something that upsets you it's misogynistic if you see patterns in different races that's just seen as your your worldview. if he said the same thing oh you're the first black girl that talked that way in my experience you would call him a racist yeah Not he makes that. a good point because if somebody if one of us guys said oh this this woman over here she's she's i can feel the vibration of her toxic femininity <laughs> you know we'd just be like cancelled immediately not really no nah, they were just called <laughs> retarded that's just a, ret a retarded <laughs> thing to say i think racism and all of these issues do exist but I feel like I agree with you guys and thank you guys because you actually gave me a new way of thinking that we don't have to use this as a barrier because at the end of the day, what we think is what will manifest. They do, they do exist. They absolutely 100% mm -hmm. do exist. But Racism don't... does exist, but not as it's not as big as black people think that it is, bro. It's literally, bro, it's, it's a small percent of actual racist people, bro. They're a small, very small minority, bro. But it's just vocalized because of social media, bro. Regardless of that, yeah. you know, you still have to go out exactly. and you still have to go out into the exactly. world and, and make it work for you. Because exactly. that's the only that's the only thing that we've got. And think about it this way. Like if racism was such this big barrier that you guys are exaggerating it to be, why would we have black billionaires like Jay-Z and Kanye West? Well, absolutely. I mean, if you True. think about it, if you think about any, any True. ethnicity, she cooking any shit, any background, any she social cooking class, shit. You, there are examples of people who've exactly. gone on mm. to become hugely, hugely exactly. successful. So that's what you've got to look at. At an not, incredibly not, disproportional rate, but not the guy who. Yes, but no, and that's a really important point. Yeah. So in America, blacks are 13% of the population. Of course, most of the white people are, are making the money. It's a small population, it's just the amount of people. But at the same time, there's more poor white people than there are going to be poor black people just by statistical numbers. Mm. Mm. You know That's a good but point. Of course. That's a good point. But That's the, a good point. Let them cook. Let them cook. Incarcerations, although it's only 13% of the black population. In so the how US. much it's of it is higher, crime, it? though? No, but I'm saying... How much but, of it is crime, but, though? Regardless, still, but it's higher than the white people, right? More black people in the in prison in percentages. By percentage. So okay, would you so, say there, that's so would you say that's suppression though. or black people's no, culture? And the, and this is the thing. What? I'm asking. Wait, 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 wait. wait. That, you hit the best point, and this is, yeah, a, this is culture. It is a it's culture. very much so. Thing. Did you yeah. say culture? Wait, 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 wait. What does that mean, bro? Wait, I, I want to say... I'll tell you. Can I say it? Sure. Right. It is cultural because this is the thing. Oh now, with God. racism, because of culture and how things happen back in the day, people have just been stuck in kind of like that limbo of like, okay, what do we do now? Black people are still trying to catch up with a lot of things. So that's why right now, what? yeah, it is still a cultural thing. And what we can do is say the things that you were saying is empower yourself regardless of what you look like because you are letting the cultural context ruin your prospects because you're letting that make you be less when you're not okay i don't fully disagree so surprised when i don't fully disagree he said cultural aren't you i'm surprised too i'm confused wait 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 what do you mean why am i acting surprised aren't you a rapper so what does that mean what genre of music advocates for murder all the time hip hop black hip hop yeah so, so you're a rapper you know i'm tripping he said with genre i think he said race genre is is black dominated and yeah. they advocate for violence all the time, and you're gonna be like cultural. You know what, my it's literally a statistical fact that he just said it, but it's it's the fact that he's it's the fact that a white man said it. That's why they're like, oh my god, it's the truth. Problem with it is actually that I hate is <laughs> when a young black man goes and gets successful, and obviously because of the numbers and the businessmen in the world, he ends up working with white people, and they call him an Uncle Tom, and I think that's bullshit. What's Truly. that? <laughs> I think no, no, it I, is no, bullshit. no, I think they only call you an Uncle Tom. If you're acting if you, a certain way, as in like speaking sense, correctly, no, as in, like, no, no, as in black. Like, yeah, they call them white wash if you speak proper and shit, bro. Not, I, I used to do the same thing, so I, uh, so I can't even talk. No, I'm not trying I to be disrespectful. Like in New Orleans, we would think somebody was either a punk or either they was white if you talk straight. Uh, if he was black and he talked proper, bro, then then you was whitewashed and all that extra shit, bro. But now that I've grown up, you know, matured a lot and shit, bro, it's just a way of speaking, bro. You speak proper or either you don't speak proper.
Respectful. I would no, never. I, no, I agree with you. But when I've seen people call someone an Uncle Tom, is in a sense where you're just, from what I've seen is they will, like, when I watch NWA is they, um, they made all the black guys just get on the floor for no reason just because they were black. And the black policeman is just standing for it. I would call that an Uncle Tom because That's a you movie. just... Which happened in real life, by the way. It's a documentary, <laughs> so it's not fake. It's, it's real. It wasn't Can a I ask you a question? It, it, it happened in real life, though. That's what I'm telling you. I'm not Can I ask you a question? Life. You know, a good, like, 40 to 50% of people that have been incarcerated is because of something that they didn't do. How is that culture for the do people? Do you think it's 40 or 50% and that's of in America. Both? I think it's a high percentage for May black people. Can I say something very How quickly? How is that culture? Can I say something very quickly? Mm. Pearl, my sister, listen, let me just, can I just help you run this conversation up? Because I know it can be awkward, especially with what <laughs> happened. Guys, she is not racist. She's a G. Uh, racism is not a hindrance. It is a challenge, but you can overcome it. And I'm so sorry that I brought that into the conversation because we're talking about feminism. And feminism is destructive, okay? So, oh, I'm so sorry, Pearl. I didn't mean oh, to, have to be sorry. change the conversation. In your opinion. Yeah, like, she's trying to stay away from the racist side because we'll have happy this shit, bro. That shit was hilarious, A lot girl. of you guys who have this opinion about... My opinion on the whole situation, bro, we should go off my reaction on this shit. I was just like, she should... Like, she should have just stood away from that topic. Like, you know, she should have stood away from that, the topic and shit, knowing how the media is and... And push back a little bit on his racist remarks. The um, which is uh, what's the name? Nick Fuentes. Push back on his racist remarks and shit. But uh, do I think she racist? No, she's not racist. About feminism being destructive. Obviously, she wouldn't be racist, nigga. She friends with black people. She, the fuck, she got black, bro. Obviously, she not racist. What the hell? Feminism. I don't think she racist the at all. Reason you're here, you're here, you're no, here. No, it's we're not. It kind I? of mm -hmm. is though, because if we're being honest, the, the Equal Pay Act, women even getting into no, work. No, because my mom is a hustler. Okay, but who started the whole movement for women to even come out of the kitchen? Can I ask you, you how it's been? My mum was in the kitchen. Most women prefer to be in the kitchen. <laughs> they got all these boss bitches and all this extra shit, bro. When they 50, and they think, and they all think these women really want to be a business woman for the rest of their life, bro. No, they not designed to work that damn long. They don't want to do that, bro. They just want to sit in their feminine, chill with the kids and shit and live their life, bro. No. Dude, whatever girl I do, they, she not working. All of that. Like, who did all of that? And that's just recent I generations. I prefer her not to. Generations. I know, from what I know, my knowledge of feminism, mm -hmm. um, in terms of the destructive mm -hmm. feminism, um, came from, I, I was think it Rockefeller? It, I, think, I think it's always been destructive. I mean, even in the early days, they planned assassinations. It's always been freedom at the, at the expense of men. Always. Can I ask you even, even, like, let's take the vote. Like, the vote was one of the first things that we got, right? Would you agree that was a good thing? That women got to vote? Yes. Okay, but then women were not equally drafted. So if there's a war that breaks out, the men are the ones that are have, that have to go fight. So that's why women didn't want to vote, because they had to be drafted in order to vote. Because if you're voting for, in the U.S., it's the commander-in-chief who picks if we go to war, that's who you're voting for. So you have to have some skin in the game. So again, mm. women wanted the freedom. They want to say, oh, let's vote. But they didn't get the responsibility that comes with it. In the U.S., um, selective service is up to $200,000 per year. But do you know so, what? So if they don't enlist, basically, like if... If war breaks out and they don't um, sign up for the service, basically, they get fined $200,000. But you know why women should still have a say? Because the same mm -hmm. way that men are the ones that go to war that could get killed, it's the same way that women are then going to be left behind without a father at home or without a husband at home. So there's... Be there's um, effects of war on both sides. That's why it shouldn't just be men making decisions. We're all part of this society. So if democracy is about people, we are all people. So that's why the vote makes sense. So yeah. Well, I just, if, I, essence, I just think, yes. I just think make it equal. Feminists want equality, then be equally drafted and go on the front lines. But then women say, oh no, I don't want to do that. Okay, well then, and it, it doesn't have to be about the vote. All of feminism is, I want, I want special treatment. Because you always hear the feminists talk about, oh, um, equal pay, even though we get paid more in a lot of industries. You never talk about equal pay in sex work. Why are women strippers <laughs> paid more? Oh, no, let's go march. Only but fans. nobody cares. And this is why I find feminism to be completely contradicting, because women will say things like, I want to have equal pay. I want to be making this amount of money as men. And then the minute they find men that's making less money than them, he's a simp or he's soft. Mm. Yeah. Is very contradicting a lot of the times. You guys want equal pay. You guys want equal sexual liberation no, women, and so on and so forth. Women, women that talk about equal pay are lazy. Lazy. They, it's usually, they, they just, I, I, I cannot stand women that complain about getting paid equal because I've worked in so many industries that are begging women to work there. Mm -hmm. But they're hard jobs and women don't want to work there. I used to work in sales. They wanted female salesmen. But then the women we would get the job better. and they would quit. It's just yeah. like, what are you? My highest paid employee in all my companies is a woman. Straight up. And it is by a landslide. 
just just Christmas bonus alone was thirty grand, on top of her salary, and mm-hmm. all of her health benefits, her gym membership, her car, everything, and her travel, and the vacations I send her on. Do you know what? Can I say something that is really cute about feminists? I think that feminists are just little girls that manage to do something, and they're so excited, and they just want people to say, "Yay, you! Well done!" Like, no, but, but no, I that's think a, that's what she it produces is. the most. Too. I know, I know, but I'm talking about feminists because I realize that sometimes I'm looking at these girls and say, "Oh yeah, what we call rights? We want this. We want that." In realistic, why the fuck you need society to pat you on your back for doing some good? What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? You need society to pat you. Yay! I became a businesswoman. Pat me in my back because I became a businesswoman. Yay! Fuck, that make no sense. You know, you just want the man to be able to say to you, oh, you're a G as well. Well done. And it's actually quite annoying because you don't need that validation. You know what I mean? Because for me, I don't... That's I, you. No, I know. And that's why I'm saying I don't like feminism. But my because thing whoa, is, whoa, whoa, most of the feminists that I've met are actually men. So I'm just a bit like men Yeah, because it's a mating strategy. And tra- it's a mating strategy. And men, so of course they are. Those are the simps. The, the ones that go... And them niggas getting them some cootie cootie. <laughs> if you a nigga nowadays, bro, say that you a feminist and you agree with everything you say, nigga, you getting in them jars. Placate to women and act like they want to be a uh, male feminist. Those are the simps. Yeah, they hate guys sure. like us. They hate yeah, it. So what, what's a guy like you? It's white knight shit. A guy that lives by truth and just calls it how it is. Can and guess what? You know what that, that creates? That creates respect. And you know what respect means with a man and a woman love. You can't respect a man that you know is full of shit. You can't. What, what are you talking? You said this wanting validation for men for being equal. You just wanted him to validate you for being able to fix a car. No. Uh, this, listen. What? <laughs> Ooh, the contradiction is crazy. The contradiction is crazy, bro. <laughs> why you, you keep talking you know about the contradiction is crazy. Do you know girl? why you get no? Do you know why you're getting confused? Because you've already immediately labeled me to be a feminist. I'm standing against. It's not about I'm feminism. Saying, you said that no, feminism wait, wait. is wanting to what, get validation wait, for men for being me, equal. Let me clarify. You got mad at him for not being able to fix a car, you and we so just all gave you put money up to go fix a I car. Students like you. Let me explain why uh, why you're actually just looking for an argument. Because I'm saying it's not that an argument. I'm just trying to see the double standard. What you're saying. Feminists are actually a bit confused, and they're screaming for so many things when in reality what they are actually looking for is just yay well done that's it because women can now go and do certain flash, things men go to but, but what she just argued was bo- <laughs> what she just argued like 20 minutes ago was about the car of uh them putting up money and all this shit about fixing the bmw and shit like that bro that's contradicting bro. work all day every day uh, exactly, abiding, and nobody exactly, thanks them exactly and it's I'm a thankless world listen and that's what i'm saying exactly like having a movement for it is quite, quite Pointless. Say yes. well done to yourself, and it's okay. So I'm actually mm. against feminism because it actually. But she just said feminism was. I'm, what the f- she hinders me. I get called that all the time, and it's so annoying. Completely You're agree with you. Yeah. I'm not because I'm. Yes, you are. are. So why you are. Why do we all put up money to go fix a car? If yeah, you're not exactly what you just described. Yourself. Okay. She and let me tell you why I am not a feminist in that essence. Because that's what I want. I want just somebody to say to me, oh, by the way, I'm not. Uh, if I tell you that I can fix a car. Oh, yeah, cool. That's good. Well done to you because I got skills. Validation. But, so wait, yeah, wait, wait. Val- you seeking validation. What are listen, listen, listen. She's <laughs> seeking validation, bro. She contradicting herself. She doesn't even really recognize it. That's exactly what she's no, describing. She'll get more respect and she'd be like, oh, okay, I get what you said. Okay, you're right. But she'll get way more respect if she just say that instead of trying to argue you her way through everything, bro. She understands she wrong, bro. She just need to acknowledge that, bro. Right now. I'm explaining to you, I'm explaining to you the difference and between get my respect what they she admits they want, she what they actually really want. That's it. Because... So what do you want? Well, I just want to be able to be somewhere, do something. Somebody say, yeah, that's really good. Well done. So and that's it. Give me the tape. That's, that's the job. same thing. What the f- that's, that's like three contradictions, bro. Three contradictions. <laughs> that's, 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 okay, no. I'm saying, I'm belittling the fact that... All right. Try, try number uh, uh, take number four, bro. Let's see if she can try to clean it up again. Feminists bro. will stand there and say, equal rights, we want all of this, when in reality, you're just a sweet little girl that just wants to be like, well done, but they're angry. And yet, without, the problem is without the all of those movements, you wouldn't be here. I no would be would, here. No, you wouldn't, but yeah. would. 50 years ago, think, yeah, 50 yeah, but, years but, ago. But I, I dead think, ass, I, no, like, without but, those women actually taking mm. the logic upon themselves, mm. use, you know, using that logic, whether it was to do what men, what was the example that you gave when they were terrorists? Mm-hmm. Uh, men have been known terrorists for a very long time. We're talking back to the 1700s. But, right, but and, but, 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 yeah, men being known terrorists keep your ass safe, though. But, these but, what, but what outcomes has that given for women? Has that given us good outcomes? Are we happier? No. Or do we have more children? No. 
Are we on? Are we on? Anti, we're on antidepressants more than ever before. Yes. Is this what, because of we're, we're more sexually yep. promiscuous oh, really? than ever before? Mm. We're in less relationships than ever before. More less of us marriage. are childless over thirty than ever before. What outcomes has happened that it's that are good? We can point to individual things and say, yes, we're on a podcast. That's fun. But in society, as as a whole, what what good has it done? It got me to meet you. Oh. <laughs> Same. <laughs> but also the other the other issue with it is at what point you're talking about yeah 50 years ago and that's how you've got to this point and everything like that there's a sort of but there i believe there is an even playing field now in in certainly in the uk i think in the united states as well canada all these anglosphere countries right i don't believe that women are now held back in any material way okay in terms of the job market in terms of opportunities being an entrepreneur etc cetera, etc cetera. so at what that's point, at what the point no it absolutely Absolutely, exactly. but but abs- absolutely. But at what point do we say, okay, right now the conversation is closed because now, now so we I move. We move but Troy, I, w- I would go even further and say that women have more freedom than men. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 And, that's the, and, that's the, and that's where it becomes destructive because it seems now mm. that the the the. the, the power balance has shifted more into the feminine and then guys are actually being disadvantaged now. I do yeah. think that's the dis- that's the problem with modern day feminism. I think that um, everyone wants women empowerment and I'm for women empowerment, but we can't pick and choose when we want feminism to take place. Say for example, like we want a man to provide for us and care for us and some people might want to be a housewife, but then also you want the the other side of it and you want to take control in the relationship or mm. vice versa yeah but she doesn't really want that like it's not actually equal because it's like uh, who say oh, for example, sure certain knows, huh? areas of work like a bin man very few women want to be a bin man they will say it's a I man's say, job i would say zero yeah Probably. they would say it's a man's you were to check job the applications but then if you want to look at feminism you guys want equality but when it comes to certain jobs you don't want to do them when it comes to certain yeah certain instances you don't want to be involved in them so mm. it doesn't really I think feminists pick and choose yeah, when yeah, it benefits yeah. them no, yeah. but I that's think something I agree with that I think I would say I, agree. I think the issue here is you guys are not trying to like not you guys in general but just like women who are like I'm not a feminist but everything that you've actually being made like and alive right now I mean and it's back to my point of the 50 years ago 100 years ago mm-hmm. when your ancestors and your great 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 grandmothers were sitting there in the kitchen unable to do anything yeah like feminism has benefited every well, woman I in, like, she got dried up glue up chair actually in today's prefer. society yeah i was about to and say i, I would I'm, suspect those women are happier than these women I would currently actually prefer. And how and how are they happier they're not even, <laughs> even here I would actually prefer to be where women was in the 20s because the yeah. pressure for me as a lady to work can be very exhausting. So when you say here... Bro, most women do not want to fucking work, bro. And there is nothing wrong with that. I don't know why feminism keeps... I don't know why they keep saying it. But most women do not want to work, Chad. Let's be honest, bro. And that's totally fine because most men want to work to provide for their families. Women are good at other things. Men are good at fucking other things too, bro. And say that oh this is the reason why i'm yeah. here today most women really don't most women i'll be honest with you we do all of this work boss chick stuff because of the oh. pressure that this feminist woman has put on women yeah, to agree. not be lazy and to get up and work mm-hmm. so when you sit here and say oh this is the reason why you guys are here and da, 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 most of us really don't want to be so you don't, don't want forget you're black and the point is you want the same rights my sister the point is the women back then the first the first wait 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 just to correct something the first female millionaire was um in the early it was in 1900 so yeah, was, the hair shop lady. No, but everyone says they couldn't um, vote or they couldn't work until like the 50s and 60s. But before that, there was a female millionaire. So did, there, someone did it. Yeah. That's we, nice. We weren't held back. Uh, well, to be honest, making money is not really that hard. You know? Bullshit. Well, as a woman, making money isn't that hard as a man. No. It, this is... One thing you got to do as a woman is just post a picture of your toes with some white nail polish on that shit. You, you making money just off only fans off feet pictures, bro. For me, bro, I gotta work for that shit, bro. What I stream eight plus hours a day, bro. If a woman stream eight plus hours a fucking day, she already what she want to be because of that, you know. But that's that's cool though. It's how the world works, bro. I got privileges and other things. They got you know 
uh you no know, privileges in their own way too or whatever the thing if you are capable you can do anything whether you're man or woman the problem with feminism i think is that it displaces women a lot of the time because you're trying to make us be something that we're not like mm. i work for myself i i i agree with that point i do i would say i am a boss in what i do but i'm not a boss baby and i have to prove to my man that i'm this woman and you i deserve certain things i all i want is not because i'm a feminist just because i'm a person that likes to be told well done i just want if i'm with a man to be like oh that's quite cool you know well done for trying that that's it but i don't really get anything against that i don't really get too many people sometimes especially the people that know me telling me things like oh you're a woman you shouldn't do this so do you want validation from men or not i just want i don't it's not just from men i want it from anybody even women that will look at me and be like no nah, you can't do that women do that to each other so i don't want to be boxed in because i'm a woman i just want to be treated like normal just it's fine it seems like, like your value system is extremely external and exists in other people's minds no not really this is in terms of the context of the conversation because i think you can tell that i don't actually need much external validation i'm quite gassed by myself thank you but it seems like in some industries in say in london we're uh I did. we're in london now right i mean if you look at media industry if you look at advertising um uh c certain types of like information technology and stuff like that it's very actually female based you know you've got like say the advertising industry you've got more female leaders in that space than you have men so it seems to me at some point we have to say right well the balance has been addressed now mm. Mm -hmm. I think so. It's getting there. I think women need to just kind of like empower themselves, and then it not becomes, request further stuff. And, and then it goes back to what they were saying before, which is like, okay, man or woman, you've got to go out into the world and you've got to bend it to your will, right? You've That's got to it. make it. Mm. You've got to make your own narrative and not and not fall back on these, you know, yes. victimhood things. Yes, you you summed that up nicely. I can see you've got good experience talking to people and making them understand Indeed. the simple and basics. Oh, I like that. Thank you for summarizing it that way. But yeah, you made a good point I'm in cringing. The